Okay. Here is what you need to do to uh, mod Ultra Kill on Linux. Uh, this goes for a lot of Unity games, so you can use this. Uh, you can use this uh, t method for other games like Risk of Rain, uh, Potion Craft. I think that was the name. Anyway, so what you need, the tool you need is R2 Modman, and you can get it by installing the zip over here, provided here, and it will have an exe, and it will have an app image. But you, all you need is the app image if you don't have it on your repos. For example, if you're on Arch, you can do j-s r2 modman. For example, there it is. I have this package installed. You can also get the app image, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So, as long as you have any of those, like uh, R2 Modman from your repos or from the app image you downloaded from the internet, it doesn't matter. You just need R2 Modman. Once you go to R2 Modman, all you need to do is go to select profile. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Never mind. This is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this. Okay, once you start uh, R2 Modman, you should see a screen like this where it will ask you to select the game. So, if for Ultra Kill, you're going to want to just type in Ultra Kill, then select game, select profile, and then here's where you will install your mods. You can select anything from here. I think all of these are provided from Thunderstore, like this website. I'm not sure. Uh, and... And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you just install any mods you want, and then start modded. And I'm sure you can also launch uh, the modded version from Steam. I'm not sure how to do that just yet. If I do, I'll make a video on that too. But yeah, basically that's how you mod Ultra Kill. It's really that easy. Uh, I've also heard folks that have been able to get BeepNex uh, working on Linux, and they do have instructions on their website, which I'll link down below. But it hasn't worked for me, so that's how I do. It. That's this is how I do it. Um, yeah, basically, and and some extra uh, knowledge is that you enable and disable mods by clicking on these. These are to uh, toggling uh, like these are to toggle auto loading on game start to to start the mod immediately you have to make this text look green which for which you have to just click it's a little stupid but it is what it is uh, if you want to know uh, if you got mods installed then like sometimes you might not see this mods thing just it's kind of hard to so just go in the game and see if you have it, I guess. That's yeah, that's probably going to be the best way to know if you got your mods installed. And uh, like that, you've got your mods installed. Thank you for watching.